Good morning. Yes, it's our reading skills lesson. And today you can see the I has been circled. Yes, I for what? I hear you cry. Infa! Correct. And of course, here's our vipers um, telling us all the different meanings of each word. And we talk about this a lot, but we talk about it a lot because it matters. And so... We need to remember what each of these mean. And I know that we've talked about this pretty much most days, but let's just focus in on the infer. Now, infer, as it says here, is all about being able to make and justify inferences using evidence from the text. OK, now, basically, it's based taking what the text is telling you and being able to work something out. OK, so it doesn't necessarily give you the complete answer that you might explain uh, that you might receive from Retrieve, where you can find an exact answer like what was the little girl's name? She was called Jane. Or do you know what I mean? So infer isn't as simple as Retrieve, but the, the clues are in the text. And then you have to kind of guess what you think the answer could be. OK, so we're going to be doing a bit of that uh, inferring today for the questions that we've got. And of course... We have our current text, which is Audrey the Amazing Inventor. So, which of Audrey's inventions have not been successful so far? I'm sure you can remember from the text. I know the one about the cat didn't work too well, and the cat did not enjoy it. Oh, sorry about all this. It's all um, popping up all over the place on here. Um, uh, well done to... The work being handed in there. Anyway, back to our lesson. So, um, the cat, getting the cat clean didn't work too well. I don't think the cat enjoyed it one little bit. So, uh, let's read through together pages 9 to 18. And not very keen means not very happy. Okay, so if you're not very keen to do something, okay, uh, which it says here, neither Happy Cat nor Daddy seem very keen on Audrey's inventions, which were amazingly scary, amazingly messy, and sometimes just amazingly wrong. And as for the strawberry jam dispenser, <laughs> oh, jam faces everywhere. Okay, now we are going to carry on with today's text. So, we can see Audrey in her little den here, making a lot of noise. Oh, happy cat, sighed Audrey. Being an inventor isn't easy. But as Audrey stroked his sticky fur, she had another spark of an idea. Hmm, maybe this would work. She ran to the shed and banged, clattered and battered. Then she laid out a trail of fishy treats, which Happy Cat followed straight in. What's going to happen? Oh, the cat wash. It bubbled and bubbled and bubbled. No, cried Audrey. Stop bubbling. Oh, dear. Poor old cat. But the bubbles went everywhere. Happy Cat wasn't happy, and Daddy wasn't happy, and Audrey was utterly miserable. I'm the world's worst inventor, she wailed. Now, before we go on to the next page, what does utterly mean? Does anybody think they know what utterly might mean? Shout it out now! It means... Very or really, okay? Um, so if you were to replace that in that sentence, it means, and Audrey was really miserable, or, and Audrey was very miserable. But they've used the word utterly because it's a really powerful verb, adverb. So um, there you go. That's the meaning of utterly. Okay, move that down. Later, when Daddy came to kiss her goodnight, he said, I don't expect inventors ever get it right the first time, but all my inventions are disasters, Audrey replied. They're not disasters, so long as you learn from them. 
smiled Daddy. You just need to keep trying. So what does disaster mean? Disaster means anyone? That's right. Something that is a failure or causes damage. And so she definitely had a bit of a failure with the cat wash. And it might even have caused some damage to Happy Cat. Look, she's polished, cleaned him so much, she's rubbed off some of his grey fur and he's got a white patch. Or maybe that was always there. Anyway, only joking. Right. So, here you go. It is time to do today's questions. So you can pause the video here. I won't set the timer for five minutes. In fact, forget that. Um, all you need to do is answer these questions, have a little look through. You can skim back through the video. And of course, you can download the questions if you want to from the Word document attached to uh, our lesson channels on the Teams page. Um, but otherwise, pause the video here, have a little look through and go through these questions. It does give you a page guide. However, um, we can't see the page numbers, but you'll be able to work it out. Okay. Um, why do you think the jam was a, a dispenser was a bad invention? Um, explain why the author has used exclamation marks and capital letters for bang, wallop, crash. Now, the thing about the jam dispenser is you only see the picture. Okay, and that's why it says use the pictures for clues. Um, number three, on page 14, it says, how can you tell Audrey is feeling annoyed and upset on this page? It says spelling mistake there, but ignore that. Uh, find a group of words on this page that show that Audrey is very sad that the cat wash has failed. And what impression do you get of Audrey's dad? So that was the last page we just read. Back up your opinion with words from the text. So pause here, have a little go, and then there's another activity after you finish this. So get ready because there's another slide I'm gonna show you with one more activity that we're gonna try and do. Okay, away you go with these questions, go. And finally, have a little look at these words that all mean cried okay but we've got a bit of a scale from meaning crying just a little bit to crying a lot okay so i'm going to ask you in your reading skills book draw a line along the uh, whole page underneath the questions you've just done and decide where you think these should go on the scale from crying a little so which of those words might just mean crying a little through to crying a lot, okay? So I'm gonna say press pause here. You've only got one, two, three, four, five words to put on the scale. So you can put one here, 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 and here. And basically decide which means crying a little all the way through to the scale, on the scale to crying a lot. So have a little go, press pause, and then I'm gonna order them for you and you can see if your arrangement lines up with mine. See if you got it right. Away you go, press pause. And welcome back. So I'm gonna order these and let's see if they match what you've done. I'll start with crying a little and I think moaned, not that one, I'm gonna move that one out of the way. Moaned sounds, doesn't sound like crying very much. If you moan, and then you've got whimpered. So I think those two are very similar. Um, and I'm not sure which one to put first. I might put whimpered first and then moaned. No, I'm going to do it the other way around. <laughs> um, but I would say they're very, very, very close in meaning. Okay. Then I think, oh, sobbed, I think would come next. I think we'll put sobbed there. And then these last two. Well, hmm, which one do you think it sh should go next? Well, I think wailed. I think wailed is definitely crying a lot. But the one that wins out as the big one for crying a lot, I think is howled. I think wailed and howled are the last two, but I think this is the absolute chicken dinner winner for crying a lot. So that would be the order I would use. I think sobbed definitely goes in the middle. I think if you've got moaned and whimpered the other way around, don't worry. I, I would be inclined to agree um, because they're very similar. But you, you, I, we had to make a choice. 
And I definitely think howled has to be the one at the end. I think it's more powerful in terms of crying than if you just wailed. Um, although wailed is still more than sobbed, and sobbed is definitely more than whimpered and moaned. So there you go, that was my thinking. What was yours? Uh, there you go. Thank you very much for all your hard work. Uh, your final thing to think about, and if you want to write this as a last sentence at the bottom, what is your prediction for what Audrey might do next? What do you think she could invent next? Is there anything else she can invent? Who knows? Anyway, write one sentence as a prediction and then find out tomorrow in your final reading skills lesson of the week what Audrey will do next. Uh, for now, thank you very much. You take good care and um, we'll speak all together soon. Bye.